All right, good morning and welcome back to the Hicks Hooks channel. I'm up here in Corolla, North Carolina right now. Probably the northest uh, beach besides Corova and the Outer Banks. Uh, and thanks to Beth and Chris, I was able to get up here for the weekend and uh, try to fish it up here. So it's amazing how much this beach, even though it's just like 14 miles up from Duff, differs. Um, came out here the first day, I was using shrimp. I was trying to throw it short into a trough. And uh, in the afternoon I went swimming, I found out there was no trough out there. So this beach goes real gradual all the way out. Um, so yesterday, after lots of fishing, all talking to other guys, no one else was catching anything, I started throwing it way out there. I mixed up my bait a little bit. I used finger mullet. I started doing uh, much smaller chunks. So I'll show you how I'm doing it up here. Uh, all right, so you want to get your finger mullet? guys out of here all right here we go so that's your finger mullet right there all right and i'm gonna cut this guy and we'll get some small little strips all right so take this guy and i'm just gonna cut the tail off all right and i'm just gonna do like half inch strips of this guy because i'm just using a bottom rig with size four hooks there we go, a little, little bit frosty. All right, so I'm just using these little chunks right here. Let's see if I can't get this camera in here. This sand is hard. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna put these little chunks on here. walk out as far as I can and throw this guy as far as I can. I know the water's been a little bit icy this morning. I think it was like 64 yesterday. I just launched the sucker about uh, 60 to 70 yards out there, I'd say. Um, like I said, it's very flat. Uh, the bites were kind of light yesterday and took a little while to catch something. Uh, hooked up a skate, a couple kingfish, so we'll see what happens today. But if you're up here in Corral, this is kind of what you got to do. Uh, the nice thing about today is the wind actually died down a little bit. Feels like it's blowing like southwest, maybe. Under 10, maybe around 5. But uh, that'll kind of keep things nice and light for me so I can feel the bite. Uh, when, the wind, when the wind picks up to like 10 miles an hour and it's blowing like south or from the east actually, uh, that water can get pretty choppy and make it tough to kind of feel the fish biting. But uh, looks like I'm going to have a good day here. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. If you like what you see, don't forget to press like. And if you're new to the channel, check out my other videos too on Fishing the Outer Bank. And please hit that subscribe button help me out. I'll try to keep you in the know-how on fishing up here in the Outer Banks. Thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe.
Dang it. That's a skate. Dang it. Ooh, we got a skate on here. pulled up this skate and I don't know if he ate this fish but that fish came up right with him that thing's dead it's a little croaker that's funny oh my goodness don't like taking these skates off but <clears throat> that's just funny he just spit this out of his mouth right when he came up here all right let me get this sucker off Sorry, buddy. Sorry, little feller. That's nice. That's really good bad. All right, here we go. So, I don't know if you call that a twofer or what, but that skate just spit out that fish right there. Huh. I'm not using that for bait. He sucked. That sucker's dead. He was definitely just eating because he's not even like... That's, a, that's just the weirdest thing. I don't even know how that happened. All right, let's get this guy back here. Well, that's one. That's one fish for the day, sort of. It's a little tiny guy. That thing's a, a little gray trout or a little weak fish as they call them. These guys got these little mouths on them. I'm trying to get it out of here. There we go. That's just a little little baby sea trout. I'd love to catch his bigger brother, but that's something. I'll take it. All right, here we go. Let's get bigger, guys. Let's get bigger.
Here we go. Sorry, I gotta get off the phone there. My wife's calling for breakfast. Got a nice little southern kingfish right here. That's about eating size. I'm not keeping this meat though, but we'll take it. I'll take it. I love catching these down here. And honestly, like, if you're eating, this guy is probably just about as big as you want to keep. I'm getting them back in there. I'm trying to get another one. Here we go. Fish is picking up. Been a tough morning, but I feel like they're getting back up here. I'm gonna throw my line back in there. But that's a trout, a skate that's been up a croaker, nice little southern kingfish. Gonna go try to throw back for to get some more. So, you know, figuring out it's a little different here. Gotta put the time in. Know it's low tide, it's kind of coming in, so I don't know how much that's affecting things. But the wind's always kind of a factor. The beach is definitely a factor, and figuring out that there's no trough here really helped me out so I can kind of get focused on casting out further and uh, kind of dialing it in. So, like I said, I'm using finger mullet, little teeny pieces, um, and I'm casting out as far as I can. Totally different than what I usually do in duck. So, let's see what happens.
feel on them. That about does it for the day. I'm gonna go home and get some breakfast. Get ready for the rest of the day, but you know, it's fun down here. Corral is always nice. Outer Banks is always nice. This beach is so different than, outer, uh, than the duck and uh, southern shores and Kitty Hawk Beach that I'm used to fishing on mostly. But it's good to get up here and try a new beach. Um, you know, one more skate for the day. Got to put some new hooks on. This guy took my hook, so that's it. It. thanks again for tuning in a uh, little bit slow day but got some fish put them on the board i just love being out here so thanks again for tuning in if you like what you see don't forget to subscribe all right these hands off hey bird all the birds are coming in here now that's cool Really cool. Beautiful morning. And guess what I just found to end my day? A beautiful conch shell. My first conch of the year. That's going to my daughters. Heck yeah. Well, it's funny what makes you happy at the beach, but that is a gem right there. Throwing that in the bag, the girls are gonna love it. <laughs>